If you would like to learn how to create a rusted metal text effect in Photoshop, check out this video where I'll explain everything in so much detail that everyone can create the effect, even those who have just opened the Photoshop for the first time. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. My name is Marko Kožokar and I'm an Elite Invata author. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a rusted metal text effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you're looking for a ready-made text effects, let me show you the Invato elements. Here you can get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates, fonts and so much more. And you can cancel your subscription anytime. For creating the Rust text effect in a quicker way, you can just type the Rust text effect in the search bar and you'll find plenty of other ones, graphic templates, graphics and fonts that will make this work much easier for you. After you start the Photoshop, go to File, New to create a new file and set the width to 2340 pixels, height to 1560 pixels and resolution to 72 pixels per inch. Now we are going to create the rusted background for the text effect. Go to a layer, new fill layer, solid color to create a new solid color fill layer, name it background color and set the color to black. Right click on this layer and choose blending options. Select and check the gradient overlay effect and set the opacity to 50%, gradient to foreground to background, style to radial, angle to 0 degrees, scale to 150% and check the reverse option. Now go to File, Place Embedded, select the first texture from the link and click Place. Transform the texture to fit the canvas Change the blending mode of this layer to Overlay and name it Background Texture 1 Go to File, Place Embedded again to add another texture Select the second texture from the link and choose Place Change the blending mode of this layer to Linear Dodge and name it Background Texture 2. Now go to a layer, Layer Mask, Hide All to add a layer mask that hides the whole layer. Set the foreground color to white, choose the brush tool, pick a soft brush. and brush where you want to reveal the texture. Go to File, Place Embedded to add one more texture, select the third texture from the link and click Place. Transform the texture to fit the canvas. Change the opacity of this layer to 80% and name it Background Texture 3. Now right click on this layer and choose Blending Options. Alt click on this slider to split it up and drag this part to 125. Go to Layer, Layer Mask. Hide all to add a layer mask that hides the whole layer. Then set the foreground color to white, choose the brush tool, pick a soft brush and brush where you want to reveal the texture. Here is my result. We are going to create the 3D Rust text effect now. Go to Window, Character to bring up the character window, set the font to Visage Bold. Size to 600 pixels, tracking to 50, and color to white. Then choose the horizontal type tool, 
Click anywhere inside the canvas and type Rust. Choose the Move tool and center the text with the canvas. Now go to 3D and choose new 3D extrusion from selected layer. While the rust mesh is selected, in the properties panel, set the extrusion depth to 50 pixels. Click on the cap icon and set the bevel width to 15% and contour to half round. Now select the rust front inflation material and shift click on the rust back inflation material to select all materials between. Then click on the base color folder icon and choose low texture. Select the first texture from the link and choose Open. Set the height to 50%. Make sure to select all the materials. Click on its folder icon and choose the texture that we have previously used. Now select the Rust Front Inflation material. Click on the Base Color Texture icon and choose Edit UV Properties. Now adjust them as you like. Repeat this for all materials that you want. We are going to adjust the lighting in the scene now. Select the Infinite Light 1, set the type to Spot, and color RGB values to 245, 228, and 193. Set the intensity to 150%, shadow softness to 100%, hotspot to 35 degrees, cone to 65 degrees, check the light fall off option, and set the outer to 1003.84 pixels and inner to 1000 pixels. Then use the Move tool or Coordinates to position the lighting as you like. Now select the environment and in the properties panel set the color to white and ground plane opacity to 0%. Go to 3D and choose Render 3D layer to render the result. The rendering has finished, so return to the Layers panel. Right-click on this layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now we are going to stylize the text effect. Right-click on this layer and choose Blending Options. Select and check the Drop Shadow effect, set the distance to 25 pixels and size to 125 pixels. Then click on this plus icon to add another Drop Shadow effect and set the opacity to 50% distance to 35 pixels and size to 50 pixels. Click on the plus icon again to add one more drop shadow effect and set the opacity to 75%, distance to 25 pixels and size to 25 pixels. Select and check the outer glow effect, set the blend mode to overlay 
opacity to 50%, color code to 53271A, and size to 75 pixels. Now select and check the inner glow effect, set the blend mode to color dodge, opacity to 45%, color code to 886F4C, and size to 35 pixels. Lastly, select and check the inner shadow effect. Set the blend mode to color dodge, color code to E7D28C, opacity to 46%, distance to 0 pixels, and size to 38 pixels. Now we are going to add a couple of texture overlays to the text effect. Go to File, Place Embedded, Select the fourth texture from the link and choose Place. Transform the texture to fit the canvas. And position it as you like. Press Ctrl, Alt and G on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Change the blending mode of this layer to Soft Light and name it Rust Texture 1. Then double click on this layer thumbnail and here press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate this layer. Go to File, Save to save the changes and close this file. Go to File, Place Embedded again, select the fifth texture from the link and choose Place. Transform the texture to fit the canvas. Press Ctrl Alt G on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Change the blend mode of this layer to soft light and name it Rust Texture 2. And desaturate this texture as well. Now go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All to add the layer mask that hides the whole layer. Set the foreground color to white. Choose the brush tool, pick a soft brush, and brush where you wish to reveal this texture. Go to File, Place Embedded to add one more texture, select the sixth texture from the link and click Place. Transform the texture to fit the canvas. And position it as you like. Press Ctrl Alt G on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Change the opacity of this layer to 85% and name it Rust Texture 3. Then right click on this layer and choose Blending Options. I'll click on this slider to split it up and drag this part to 100. And desaturate this texture. Now go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All to add a layer mask that hides the whole layer. Set the foreground color to white, choose the brush tool, pick a soft brush, and brush where you want to reveal the texture. We are going to make the final adjustments to the effect now. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and D on your keyboard to make a screenshot. 
Then go to Filter and choose Camera Row Filter. In the Basic tab, set the temperature to 3, Tint to 2, Exposure to 0 0.25, Contrast to 22, Shadows to minus 42, Clarity to 32, Vibrance to 10, and Saturation to 3. Select the Detail tab and set the Sharpening to 29 and Noise Reduction to 64. Here is our final result. I hope you understood everything. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Marco and thank you for watching.